I'm John with Elite Nutrition. I've been nicknamed the Guru of Truth by some of my customers as a fun little nickname because I have a knack for cutting through the BS and telling you what works, what doesn't work, and kind of exposing Big Pharma and their dirty money and their scheme to get you on more and more medications, more and more drugs, which is not a good thing. promise you some weightlifting moves you can do to prevent osteoporosis because we're most at risk of the hips, spine, rib cage. That's where we're likely to get a break in the rib cage, the hips, and the wrist as well. But those are clinically where we're more likely to get breaks that can put our health at risk with an osteoporosis condition. So you want to build bone and the research shows the best way is weight-bearing exercises. Walking and jogging, general exercise is good, yoga is good, but it doesn't build the bone density that a weight-bearing exercise does. And you actually want to lift to a point of fatigue where what in the industry would be called lift to failure, where you're doing that last rep and you can't do any more. But don't put yourself at risk, you know, have your body stabilized, of course. So I was going to show you a couple exercises because of where we're most vulnerable, right? And one would be your traditional just squats. And I'm just gonna grab a couple dumbbells here. These are just happen to be 40 pounds, they're not real heavy. The, the weight heavy is all relative to the individual. Five pounds is heavy for one person, 100 pounds is heavy for another person, right? But the idea is you can do dumbbell squats, you can just touch your butt to a chair. And I'm just gonna do a couple reps here so you get a feel for what it's like and I just have this little item in there that I touch my, my butt to, right? Just like that. And come spring back up. Your, your hamstrings will get about parallel to the ground. And then you, you would take that to a point where it's almost a failure, where you're down here and you're kind of struggling to get that last one up. Failure could occur anywhere between 8 reps, 15 reps. Um... As you're building up in weight and you're, and you're, if you're initially not able to bend real well, you can just start with little baby, little baby squats, such as that, to get there. But that was going to protect your, your hips, your bone structure, your spine. That'll build that, that muscle mass very well. And another one, when it comes to your rib cage exposure, the overhead press, you could do these standing or sitting, but an overhead press, I'm just doing these seated right here. It's simply dumbbells up, dumbbells down, right? And that's protecting rib cage and deltoids. And uh, with that, you're going to notice obviously fatigue in the shoulders, but it's building structure. You don't want to take it to failure or close to failure where you can where you can do no more. So pick a weight. Always be warmed up, of course. But those are a couple of very important exercises to build real bone. And you only need to exercise weight training two, three times a week for 20 minutes a session. It's not very time consuming. There is a bit of intensity because if you take it to failure, sure, you're going to do three reps of those overhead presses to failure and it'll get you a little tired. But time consuming, no, it's not time consuming at all. And then another good one would just be good old fashioned um, shrugs, right? To protect the trapezius, the neck muscles, you just kind of, you got dumbbells at your side, and you're just going up, holding for a second or two, and back down. Almost like you're answering a question, like, I don't know. Just like that. Now, you'll be able to use very heavy weight with this. Again, heavy is all relative. Don't hurt yourself, but the idea would be to, to fatigue the muscle. And that drives calcium into the bone. Well, this whole matrix works so much better if there's weight-bearing exercise and you can reverse osteoporosis at any age, 60 years old, 70, 80, 90 years old. There's reversals that can be done. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon uh, so can, you can be notified when we post. And, and please hit the like button and please share.